Welcome to Swish and Flick, an all Potter podcast. Swish and Flick, everyone. The Swish and Flick. Hello and welcome to a bonus episode of Swish and Flick. I'm Tiffany. I'm Megan. I'm Katie. And I'm over it. <laughs> and we are at day two. Technically uh, day three, just day two for us. Day two for us of LeakyCon. We're actually coming to you um, from the uh, Seaport Convention Center, correct? Yes. World, yeah. World Trade Center. World Trade Center, something. Yes, it's the Seaport World Trade um, Convention Center. That is a long name. That's a long name. That's but like, name. we're here yeah. right now. Like right now. Right now. LeakyCon's right going on right behind us. So we have found... And in front of us. All around us. <laughs> and to the left of us. All right. Good. <laughs> and to the right. I mean, there's no more directions. Are you done? We're done now. Are you done? Yeah. Diagonal. Okay. Backwards. Up. Um, below. Down. I, too, am over it. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have found a cozy little nook at the <laughs> convention center. And um, we're just going to talk about our experience so far here. Sure. So what did we, what did we do yesterday? It was like... I, what did we Jam do? Jam stinking packed. Yesterday was a long day because I left with Katie first to come over here to the convention center to pick up our press passes. That's right. That's right. That did happen. Oh, my and God. Then, that was yesterday. Right. And then. Oh, my wizard God. <laughs> and then we <laughs> met <laughs> because we scheduduled a meetup for our listeners. That was yesterday. Why does that feel like last week? Literally. Right. And, uh, and that was fun because we also discovered that the place we chose was closed. So <laughs> oh, yeah. my <laughs> question is, what kind of coffee place closes on a Saturday and a Sunday? Yeah, a it Saturday? Was, uh, a Saturday. Yeah, I didn't want to stop you, but yeah. No, I mean, I guess don't. I get it because this is like a downtown area and how busy is it? It's it, bananas. It, but I mean, it's busy this weekend because of LeakyCon, but. Right. They mostly are going to sell to the the office workers. So, like, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, what the heck? Did you peek inside the door to see actually how large it was? It was very tiny. Mm. No seating, I don't think. No seating. Oh, really? So it worked out in our favor anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, good. We didn't get to go see Paul Revere's house either. So there's that. Yeah. We'll just have to come back to Boston sometime. Mm -hmm. Um, 1,000%. I enjoyed our meetup so much yes it was such a good time seeing all the people that came out i got to meet tracy who i've known online for like a few years now actually um i got to meet her for the first time it was just it was awesome and then i got to meet everybody else for the first time (laughs) but and there were multiple people that have been to previous meetups that we got to see again right so that was a lot of fun it was awesome it was very cool. It was a bigger turnout than I was expecting. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. It was I awesome. We, I think we thought only 11 people were coming. I'm not sure how many actually showed up. We have to count in the picture, but like, um, I don't know. It's just a great time. Yeah. yeah. It was very good. Yeah. Oh, and they had like um, a pumpkin chai drink Ooh. that me and Meg tried. So it good. was I really also good. took a sip. Yeah. I had, we moved from where we were standing to like a little bit more of an open area. Uh-huh. And um, I had one of them in my hand and I was like, is this Megan's drink or Katie's drink? They were like, it's Megan's. And I immediately took a sip because I know how Katie is. <laughs> I was like, ooh. And I love a good chai tea. I love a good chai latte. Like, that's something I really enjoy. It's a very much for me, um, like a fall, Christmassy, yes. winter drink. It's very... Um, you know, I don't think I've ever had one of my own. It's what? Real, I, ju- I genuinely I very much enjoy it a lot. I don't um, even know really like... When I've had a sip, I don't. I could not tell you oh, what it, it tastes so like. It's like spicy, spicy. Yes. <laughs> yes, and holiday e yummy yes. coke. It's yes. so. It's There's just, only it's Pepsi so here, Katie. Um, and me a there, beverage. There are days <laughs> when like I wanna. I don't. I can't drink hot chocolate. So there are days when I want <laughs> not like a hot drink, and I don't. And I don't want coffee. So like I'm a tea drinker all year round, but I only drink hot tea when it's cold out. So I've started drinking my hot teas now, but that's one that's just. So holiday, and I really it yeah. was very good. One it was very point. good. Would I like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I think you would. Okay, okay. Sometimes like it's usually made a little sweet, but it's nothing like I would hate because I put honey mm. in my tea anyways, especially when I make hot tea. Mm. Only when I make hot tea, I don't put anything in my unsweetened, but gotcha. in my like iced tea. Gotcha. Um, 
But I, it's very good. And that one was genuine. And I'm not a pumpkin person. It was very good. Yeah. What did uh, What did we do after that? So after that, we had to go we, to our panel. We went we to our came, panel. We came over to. So there's like two sides to the trade center here. And well, that one's the hotel. So the whole area, this is the yeah. seaport district. And it's connected. Yeah. yeah. So there's uh, kind of, it's like a walkway. Yeah. Uh, but it's like open to air. I told Meg, I was like, oh, wait, we just went inside. We're outside, but we're in the same building. <laughs> right. But then we're going to go inside again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a weird setup, but it's, it's nice. Um, and so what, what was I going to say? Oh, we went to the panel. And yeah. I will say we had a great discussion. We were there with. Hogwarts Radio, which is Terrence, um, Gretchen, Bailey. and Bailey. Yes. And then we had Eric. And shout out to Luke, who was in the audience, yes. not Luke, on yeah. stage, but and then also they had another. They had like a couple people in the audience that were like them. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. um, and hopefully we're going to... He... So, and he came up to us like yesterday night. He was like, yeah. yeah, he's like, we were, I wanted to do an episode with you a year ago and I emailed you <laughs> and it was like, and I, then I'm like, what you did? Like we would have jumped on I it. I was like, but what was, was going on? Literally <laughs> Tiffany was giving birth. So it was just bad timing on like our yeah. part to be able to like, yeah, we'll do it. Like we genuinely wanted to. It was just like, so it's going to happen now. Like let's right. message and like figure it out. So now we're totally going to do it. But yeah. that's such been an my, understanding that's, sweetheart. It's that's been happen. like my favorite thing mm-hmm. is all the networking we've been yeah, able yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah. And like, Oh, actually great. meet in person all these people that we yeah, that we communicated with, with and, and we podcasted with, and, with. And, yeah um and i had a great we talked about credence and eric from was it eric muggle cast eric yeah on, mm-hmm. on with us as well and i had a, i came up with a great theory like on the spot while we were recording or like talking about it mm. um about credence and because we know that Dumbledore and Grindelwald have that blood pact and i was like what if that's how they destroy it is credence and that's and why, like, we just know nothing else of Credence in the yeah. books because yeah. he gets destroyed while destroying the yeah. blood pact. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I really, really like that theory. It's sad, but I really like yeah, it. It's sad. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I, I don't think he's going to make it through the series. No, I don't, I don't think, think so either. either. I think he's going to be kind of if, written out. If I'm being a thousand percent honest, I think that it would I would be let down a little bit if he survived. And I know it's like a harsh thing to say. It is a little but bit. But at the but end I, of the but day, I get it. I get it. The characters that you start with, like the main characters, like they can't all make it through, right? right? Well, so especially, especially with Joe. Like realistically, yeah. you can't always have a happy ending. Like for that's real. not life. Yeah. It's not realistic. Right. Um, so. Yeah. yeah. Then what else did we do? So after our panel, we had a little bit of a break did we eat then i don't remember no we, we did walked eat. around no we walked around we walked and looked at we looked at merch stuff. yeah yeah so we looked at a bunch of merch and, and oh my gosh the co- the selection <gasps> there are some really so talented creators shnikes. here oh my so like Katie favorite piece I, of merch oddment and tweak pins. on me right now or people i mean i also like those other pins and i can't remember i love all the pins, the pins from all of them oh, i'm the going sunset to buy more road sunset yeah. road co yeah. Oh. Yeah. they did this thing oh, that man. um you could you could either buy a pin for 10 bucks like they have <laughs> owl pil- pins um with the grades on them or yeah. you could pay five bucks and go and get like not a, it's in a collar so you pick a pick one but out you can't look you can't look and it was so funny because they're like Honestly, they were like most of the Ravenclaws refused to do it because they don't want. And then I was like, I'm going to do it. And then I was like, oh, no. I'm like, what if I don't get a good what grade? What if I like, get trolled? And I was like, I, I don't know if I want to do it. And I was like, no, Sarah, you're doing so it. So we all did it. And yes. who went first? Megan? Yeah, Mega. I, got, I got dreadful. Megan got dreadful. I went next and I got exceeds expectations. I went third because third or nothing. <laughs> it's my second house. Should have been Katie. <laughs> <laughs> it's my second house. It's my second house. <laughs> and I got acceptable, which I was like, oh, that's acceptable to me. Oh like, my I, gosh. You, know, you could see I literally face. just had an idea for a merch idea. It's my second house. And then whatever the second house is on it. Oh, that's a good. I, I like that. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Um, and then Katie went forth. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they're like, it's they're a true like, you puff, gotta unfortunately. Do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. So I was like, all right. And I got dreadful. So I, I matched Meg. Yeah, we're fun. in I the kinda, same boat. I kind of wanted troll just because like. Right. It would have been troll. so <laughs> hilarious to get troll. Yeah. 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 But I'm, I'm a titch above the troll. Titch I like, I got accepted. And I was like, oh, all right. I'm like, I'm okay with this. This is acceptable to me. I like it. All right. I so really wanted like outstanding. I'm not going to lie. I'll take Gryffindor. I'll take an E though. And then I got another pit from Admin and Ad Admin yep. and Tweak, 
Um, and it's a little party pork, and I Shout freaking those love guys. it. It's so cute. They I didn't tell you, Tiffany. I also uh, got Rainbow Dumbledore. No, I saw it. So yeah, I, I got. got um, so they have chocolate frog. The thing I love about this place yeah. is so much, so much um, creativity. Yeah, and like embracing. Just great ideas. Yeah. Yeah. it's like embraced like a lot of the. I don't know. It's super cool. It's I very inclusive. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the. Uh, it's such a safe space it is yeah. everybody's so don't nice. even just, 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 just for a second i keep thinking like if we ever oh, did the sure. panel at you know not 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 a leaky kind of one i'm like i wonder how well received uh, like four w- women would be like on a podcast I yeah you know i don't know i As opposed to like here like everyone likes to talk about things like that aren't um <clears throat> you know what i mean like aren't aren't the norm of like just having men or just having like all straight people you know what i mean it's just it, i like that we are super we're not, we're not super different, but does it make sense? I get what you're saying. A little bit of a di- diverse uh, panel. <laughs> so from Oddment and Tweak, I got a Nimbus 2000. It literally says Nimbus 2000 on the handle. It is so tiny. And the ad- detail. Adorable. Mm-hmm. The detail. And then Sarah and I got like the three pack. So she got her party pork and then I got two other. I got two. So I got the Nimbus 2000 and then I got the, um, they call them the Pride Dumbledore Chocolate Frog card. And it is beautiful, and I love it very, very much. I and have I the same one. I got the same one. Oh, and then I got that's pr- that's all I got from them. I, I I only got two pins, three pins. I got. I'm surprised. I got the little potion set for Katie and I, so it came with a little Polyjuice potion, Felix yeah. Felicius, and Emma Trench, Amortentia. I yeah. got. Um, and then did you get more than that? I got Granger oh, Dentistry. Yeah, you oh yeah, <laughs> the Granger, Granger Dentistry. dentistry yeah. I like that a lot. And then I, they had a, like a little, um, uh, like it was like you put quarters quarter in a quarter machine. Yeah. yeah and oh, it was like yeah. a mystery. You paid a certain amount. Of, it, it was like called Trelawney's it was a very Orbs serious or ordeal. It, it was, was because I got the serious chocolate frog card. So. Heck yeah. And obviously like Tiffany and I are, are fans of Star Wars, but, um, specifically the one that did that Ottoman tweak, they had Star Wars ones. Obviously I got the party porg. Um, they had chocolate frogs with Leia on it and Chewy, and I was like, oh. I'm like I really want one. I'm like, but I don't, like I don't need it. And I love the little party pork. So he's got a little party hat. He's cute. Yeah, yeah. his little wings are up. He's adorable. Yeah. Funny story when Meg went when we we went back today, <coughs> um, and Meg's like, you know what? I'm gonna get the gay Dumbledore, meaning the rainbow one. And then she's like, wait, I guess they're both gay Dumbledore. <laughs> 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 it, indeed, they are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they thought that was pretty funny. Oh man. And then I just I don't know if we talked about this on the on anything we've talked about like recorded mm. but going back to like being four women and stuff like that megan was pointing out because obviously i've never been to a convention mm. um but she was like this is the first one she's seen where they've written like what their pronouns are like oh on yeah, the yeah thing. and yes. i'm like that's so great because i noticed it on mine and i knew they had asked me yeah yeah um, i remember you but like i've never obviously out. been or done a, a panel at something so i yeah i didn't know like that wasn't the norm um and i thought that was really cool it's very nice yeah it's very nice um yeah and you know it's it's nice for uh, people to feel included, you know, yeah. and right and safe. Like, what it's do you want to be great. called? Yeah, just to be asked that, you know, yeah. and then like have it just be displayed right there, so there's no question. Yeah, hey, this is me. This is what I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The end. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I it's really very like respectable. That. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of people with pronoun uh, buttons too. Yes, and I that saw is a the cool thing. Um, yeah. sweatshirt on someone that said that it was green. And then, like, the, the script on it, it's a gender. And then, like, end was, like, really. Yes. I saw that. And I, like, I'm always a person, like, I really like that. But I don't like going out to people and being, like, I really like, like, your shirt. Like, I struggle with that. Mm-hmm. Even though I know I should, like, they just would be, like, oh, thanks. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. Yeah. It's just, like, a nice thing to I don't know. It's something I struggle with. Hmm. But I thought, I was, like, God, I really like that. Because it is. It's just a social construct. Correct. True that. Uh, I feel like we jumped everywhere. No, I know. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. So after we did our mm, little mini merch tour, we went and did our first interview. Yeah. Yes. Yes. With Stan. Stan. So we were sitting in the press room and we're like trying to get ready and like just like talking to each other, feeling our nerves. And then he literally just is like standing outside our press room yeah talking to probably his, what do they his call him? Handler. Handler. i do not Literally like that term handler. at all it sounds like at, at a dog show the guy that was his handler yeah. D- that's the what guy, they're called right yeah the guy that was his handler was at the ball later that night and we were talking to him with oh he shoops. was with, yeah oh he was, he was a really shoops. nice guy I, yeah. I can't remember his name i don't remember anybody's name really can't they but just be called really like 
talent assist. I don't know. Or something. Uh, something better than handler, but I, I know. don't know. Not my business. Just, Just staff. <laughs> right. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he was like, he was, so he was standing out there and he was just like shooting the breeze with this guy just like waiting and I'm like looking at him and Sarah looks at me and she was like she like makes this face she's like <gasps> <laughs> I don't know where we're making a face you did it's you were crumb. like Ooh. yeah that crumb, face <laughs> crumb, crumb. let's just let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that that man works out a lot he, and he looks fantastic and his, let's let's really take a moment to really talk about the fact that his shirts are working hard to stay on his body because they could have ripped in any second. If he went even full on Ooh. mini Hulk mode, it would have been gone. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. please don't like hold a pen too hard because right? like your sleeve will just Gosh. rip off. He was very nice. He was very he funny. He was charming. Very. Yeah. Yeah. Like he was. Just, he was easy to. He's. He was easy to talk to. He was. Yeah. And and I think that what is so awesome about him is he loves talking about crumb oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> and he loves talking about crumb and hermione's relationship yes. and like yeah. it's just and he does it in such a funny way yes. yeah like, he's yeah. Just, like he yeah. knows that he's gonna like bring a laugh when he says yeah. what he says he and knows. it's just great he knows yeah because basically sorry. we asked him like what house do you think crumb would be and he's like gryffindor and then we're he's like, like oh, closest okay. to gryffindor and, and then he's like <laughs> He goes, well, Hermione, of course. And then we all just <laughs> lost it. Yeah. He goes, or I'd send in a secret spy. <laughs> maybe, at, maybe at this moment I could input some of the audio from that. And that'll be how we incorporate it. So you guys can hear some of the interview now. Yeah. It's lovely to meet you. Okay. So our first question. We've had a big debate about Crumb as a character and if you were to go to Hogwarts. So the two houses we landed on are Hufflepuff and Slytherin. So we wanted to hear from you, which house do you think, if Crumb were to be sorted at Hogwarts, where do you think you would land? Closest to Gryffindor as possible. Oh! Do you have uh, reasoning behind that of one? Of course there is a reason. Crumb is after Hermione, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, otherwise, you know, he was uh, very friendly, if you remember, in the Great Hall with the Slytherins. He mm -hmm. was sitting with um, Draco. Right. So I wouldn't see a reason for him not to go into Slytherin. Okay. But as, you know, the closer to Gryffindor, the better for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or he would sneak a secret agent and, you know, make sure everything is <laughs> under I control. It. I love it. Would you like to go next? Sure. Okay, here you go. Which character do you personally feel you're most like in the series? Is it Victor or would you pick a different one? I wouldn't pick any other character over Victor. <laughs> 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 uh, I really like my character, but, you know, I loved Snape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the way Alan Rickman portrayed him. He was always in character even if we weren't on set. So um, yeah. really loved the way he played Nobody Snape. else can do Snape. No. I mean, Not he is, like yeah, him, no. 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 All right, so if Victor had been included in the 19 years later scene, um, what would you have liked to see? Um, interesting. <laughs> well, at this point, Hermione is with Ron, correct? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's something he wouldn't like to see. Yeah. Um, but maybe she would realize what mistakes she's done in her <laughs> life. <and laughs> I love it. Um, otherwise, you know, it'd be nice for him to go to Hogwarts as a coach. You know, maybe Ooh. teach them how to play some proper Quidditch. I like <laughs> it. I like it. So, yeah, maybe that. Cool. Um, what's the weirdest thing that's happened to you because of Potter? Oh, many different. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, both good and not so good things um well the best is getting away with things you know when people recognize you <laughs> say at airports you get the fast queue and <laughs> you don't get asked too many questions by uh, immigration <laughs> you know i was once stopped um and i think that was in chile and i was taken straight to the police department at the airport oh my gosh and you know they were gonna probably thrash my bags and just god knows what and then I remember sitting outside of that police station like room and <laughs> those uniformed, you know, police guys come out the room and I, I was sat outside on a bench like a 
prisoner. <laughs> and um, they came out holding a tablet and a picture of Victor Crumb. And they were like, <laughs> oh, this is you? <laughs> and I was like, yes. And they were like, oh, very sorry. Please, welcome. <laughs> and, you know, they were, have a great time in Chile. Wah, wah, wah. I was like, oh perfect. I thought that was such a relief. <laughs> uh, well... You know, I don't have anything to worry about, mm -hmm. but it would have taken me, you know, ages to get through all the checks and explanations and all those questions. I mean, security is good to have, but it's nice to get away, you know. The, the, w the way it did, I was laughing my head off. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm glad they checked, uh, you know, checked in tonight. <laughs> so, general questions, like, what are you up to now? Um, working... Well, right now I'm doing a leaky con, enjoying <laughs> myself over Us the weekend. Too. Us too. Yes, it's quite an amazing event. I'm uh, having is. a great time here in Boston. The weather is not so good, but no. the rest is um, perfect. Uh, otherwise, I'm working. I'm in the middle of filming an action film called Back to Act. Cool. Uh, we're filming in Romania currently. So, wow. uh, yes, Very it's cool. uh, hopefully be out uh, next year. Yeah. Uh, and then I have another movie to move on to, which I cannot talk much about. But it's an action film again, going to be shot in L.A. Uh, no, in Las Vegas. Vegas. So Vegas yeah. is a good time. Vegas, yes, I cannot wait. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, you know, working and just you know training and training. working again and yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay, so our podcast, we're kind of, we're basically just a book club, but we solely focus on Harry Potter because we're huge nerds. Good choice. But um, do you have any, like, books that you're currently reading now that you could recommend to our listeners or, like, any good, even, like, films or TV shows that you're, like, really into right now? Well, I read mainly esoterics. Uh, and there is a series of books. Uh, and, you know, I've got, pretty much the whole collection now i've got agents searching for the you know books all around the place because uh, some of them get taken off the shelves and um the series is called what they hid from us okay. so it's about where we came from aliens and all sorts of interesting things so um cool. Cool. yes very Maybe interesting stuff check out area 51 in nevada there you go. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is my most excited question to ask you, because I know how you answer these questions, so Can it's the best. Sure. Yeah. Um, so Katie and I went to the celebration of Harry Potter when you were there, okay. and we thought that you were just great in like the panels, like you are just so hilarious, <laughs> and, <laughs> Thank you. and it's almost like you stay in like crumb character, which is just it's the best for for fans because it is it's just great so we appreciate it ah, thank you um and that's where this question came from all right <laughs> here we go should victor crumb have ended up with hermione granger yes hermione <laughs> granger <laughs> <laughs> hermione granger should have stayed with victor crumb and not make the mistake of her life yes <laughs> <laughs> she would have had beautiful little Victor crumbs and maybe a Victoria by now, so. <laughs> they would have had little crumbs, you know? Little crumbs, right? Yeah, little, maybe two little crumbs and a little Cremania, whatever you want to call her. <laughs> a little Victoria, hmm. Cool. I mean, come on, she, run. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, how can she give up the Bulgarian bonbon, right? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. If I was her, I wouldn't. I mean, they did stay in touch through True. writing, but his English wasn't really great, so yeah. True. Ron just took advantage. She was too <laughs> sad, and he witched her. He just yeah, love cast potion. a spell, and he used Harry to like, you know. <laughs> I love it. She just gave in. Well, what can you do? Well, you know. Sad for her, you know. He he's <laughs> alright. <laughs> So, um, when you were filming, how was it being on set with everyone? Did you just have like an absolute blast? Uh, yeah. That's what, I mean, we've talked to, um, a, we've talked to Chris Rankin and he said that literally every day was just so much fun for him when he Absolutely, was filming. Absolutely, yeah. Supreme fun, you know, just being around friends and being pampered like <laughs> little gods. <laughs> uh, you know, we were 
blasted with cakes. Yeah, tell me about these snacks. What did, what did y'all have? Well, they to used eat? to bring <laughs> crates with donuts and God. like constantly feed us. Yeah. And you know, we had costumes to wear. Right. And uh, I remember my costume wasn't fitting me towards the end of the film. <laughs> and um, I had costume department complain. But then Mike, the director, told me mm -hmm. he wanted me to buff up and keep training. So when I couldn't fit my arms into the costume, <laughs> I just blamed Mike. I was like, ah. <laughs> Mike told me to keep going to the gym, you know. I <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, we were treated really, really nicely. And um, mm. yeah, it's one of a kind. Yeah. How often were you training? Every day. Every day? Yeah, I still do. Twice a day. I love it. I, mean, I love it. More than before. I'm uh, very big into health and fitness, so. Perfect. So that's it. my field of. One of your other passions. Mastery, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I want to add one thing. You add one thing like. <laughs> About filming. Like, was it, was it odd or weird for you to come into the middle? Because there were so many cast members that had been together for years leading up to this, and then there were all of these new cast members. Did it, did it just... Did they just like accept you with open arms and it still felt like family or like what was that like? Okay, I'll be honest. Um, it would probably be a little weird if you knew what was going on. I didn't know what. <laughs> 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 I didn't know what Harry Potter was. I hadn't read the books at the okay. time. Um, so yeah, we had an introductory period where we used to get together and play different games. Mm -hmm. So that's when I got to meet everybody, you know, for the first time. I didn't know they had three films already made. Okay. Uh, okay. We did have Harry Melling, who plays Dudley. <laughs> I mean, played Dudley. Hopefully he will play it again soon, sometime in the future. That'd be cool. Um, but, you know, I was concentrating on other things. You know, yeah. I was um, an A rugby player you know i was having exams coming up I, I was into different things we had lord of the rings also coming out at the same time and you know half of my friends were like harry potter crazy the other half were lord of the rings and i was like that give was me need time. for speed and you know <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh once i started you know getting more familiar with with the book and the story i was like yes this is a big thing yeah. you know um <laughs> i laughed when our head of drama teacher at school told me that he you know he was gonna make me a big movie star i was like get a life man <laughs> I, mean, I don't even do drama you know i mean relax you got the wrong guy yeah. and then um you know it, it kind of happened yeah, still, you know, fortunate enough to be working touch wood and, you know, developing myself in that field. So I'm really enjoying, you know, the, the job and yeah. it's become a profession, a passion. And, you know, if you do what you love, you won't have one day of work in your life. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask. We have a sign off at the end of our podcast. Oh, yes. Would you be willing to say it for us? It's very simple. It's just, it's just what language is it in English? That's all right then. As <laughs> long as it's not <laughs> Japanese. Can you say it in both? <laughs> oh yeah, could you say it in both languages? What both languages? What's the second language? <laughs> You're gonna ask me to say it in multiple languages. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just don't let the muggles get you down. Ah, uh, don't let the muggles get you down. This is how we end all our. How would that sound in Bulgarian? Don't let the muggles get you down. It does have a weird word in the middle. What, what is the meaning though? Don't let the muggles get Ron, you down. Ron like, says it to Harry. So um, it's like, don't, don't, don't let them... Back to the Dursley's house and how, you know, it's kind of like a sad, dreary place. It's like, don't let the muggles get you down. Don't uh, let them make you sad. Don't let, like, the non-magic... Yeah, so it would sound something like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, something like... Ne pozvolajte na magalite da vi smačkat. Which means don't allow muggles to crash you. I love kind that. Of, yeah. yeah. I like but it. we are wizards, we don't deal That's with muggles. <laughs> <laughs>
And then I don't remember what we did. Maybe, maybe I think we, we ate. We ate after that. It's all and a then blur. it is. But it's then like the big major, the three major things that day. we did, and then everything else. I'm like, oh, I guess we did do that. Oh, yes, we did <laughs> right. do that. I'm like, grab some lunch. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then right after Stan, right after Stan's interview, um, Brandy from Simply Potter came into the room because she was interviewing him next. And I am telling you, every single time Katie and I run into her, it is in the most unexpected places. <laughs> and again, it was like, what are the chances that she had the interview right after us? So yeah. shout out to um, she had an Simply amazing Potter. costume. Yeah. She did. Yeah, yeah she was great. the the mermaid. mermaid in the prefix bathroom, like the whole stained glass window. It was it's amazing. We yeah. ran into her again this morning at Starbucks. Did you no, at Dunkin, I mean, Dunkin' Donuts. Donuts. And yeah. she came up to us and she's like, I always see you in unexpected places. And I'm like, I know. I don't get it. Different countries that in is the same so day. Funny. Different countries. Like, we see her at Anna Castle in England and then later that evening in Edinburgh, Scotland. That's like, bananas. we literally just, like, had the same path that day. It was so be. bizarre. It was very weird. But um, and it's continuing to happen. So, so well, like, uh, right after we ate, we had to get ready for our for Lee. interview. Yeah, we yeah. interviewed Luke And by Youngblood. Lee, I mean Luke yeah. Youngblood. Right. I really want to call him Uke. I don't know why. Lung Uke Lungblood. I don't, I don't, yeah. It's all right. I mean. And he's he just great. so funny. He's he a talented was guy. Like, he's almost my height. <laughs> I was noticing that in the picture. I was like, we are almost the same height. He's taller, obviously, because yeah. I'm like the short one. But he's a tiny guy. I mean, and he's a very tiny guy, but he is, he is so, I think a good uh, adjective is like spunky. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, he's just, he's and he super lives nice. in LA now. I didn't realize that. Until and I made sure that um, <laughs> my husband loves Gallivant and he was in Val- Gallivant. His character was Sid. Um, and they canceled Gallivant, unfortunately. But I was yeah. like, I made sure that he like said Marty's name and like, yeah. like Marty was like, tell him to bring back Gallivant. So I was like, all right, I'll tell him for you. And there's a and couple of it. things um, that he <clears throat> is going to be in too. He like animated on, things. On, on Netflix that he's like, I yeah. can't tell you about. Yeah, he's super. Stoked One of them about is them coming though. out in November, and he can't talk to us about it. Yeah, um, he, but you can tell like. That he w- he was he was excited about what like, he was gonna do. And whoever was with him, I wonder if that like was his agent or something, because he like looked his, at yeah. him because he I feel like he would have told us, almost if, if he had been in the room alone. So we yeah. interviewed Stan and Stan was by himself. It was literally us and Stan in a room. It was kind yeah. of weird, but whatever. Um, and then with Luke. Like you said, it was either his friend or his agent. I assume it was his agent. I don't want to make assumptions though. I guess, but I was um, gonna say. I did he give him a look? I didn't see. Did he give I, him a look? He, he, it seemed like he gave him a look like, oh, should I be able... Or maybe it could have been a friend where, like, should I just do it and tell them kind of thing? You know, like, I could do that. Like, like I a, would look at my friend and be like, do yeah. I want to risk it? Yeah. Um, but, but I mean, like, he tell us know about so, Netflix. Like, yeah. yeah, like, whatever well, like project, project is. Got it, got like, it. Yeah. He's like, I'm working as if he goes, I'll, I'll tell you about the ones I can and I'll, I, like, won't... I can't tell you about the ones right. I can't, you know? Yeah. Um, which is very common in, in that whole world, so... Um, yeah. But he, yes. he like sat around like we were friends. He touched my knee. We did. We sat around <laughs> in a little like circle together and just like had a. It was a little more just like casual. With it was. It was more yeah. relaxed. Yeah, yeah. But um, and I think too though, like we were more relaxed because we had been through it before. We knew like yeah. what to expect. With the, yeah. like for me, I, I like um, my anxieties. Parts of it comes from like not knowing like what even the room looks like. Like what am I going like stepping oh, into? Are yeah. there going to be other no, people there? That. Like mm-hmm. how is it going to work? And so like right. going through it once, I'm like, oh, all right. So now I know, and like this is how I'm gonna yeah do better. You know what I mean? I think too. Like I think Stan, we were Stan's first interview that day, and yeah. then with yeah. Luke, he was already interviewed. Like we were. He was yeah. in the first, he was so in the zone already. We were all warmed yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. At that time. Yeah. So. yeah, and I can put his audio now for you to listen yeah, to a pretty funny moment with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, and another part too, that I, I liked, we, I, and I told them, I want to start asking when we start talking to people that, um, aren't us Are, really, yeah. I want to know what books they're reading because at the end of the day, we're really just a, it's a lot of sugar. We're, um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we are a book club and, and, um, thank you. And there's a lot of, people that want book recommendations. So I want to know what you're reading. And that yeah. was cool to find out mm-hmm. from both of them what they like to read. Um, so we asked our listeners to send us in questions just so that you know where they're coming from. But um, first off, we need to know what house you are. What Hogwarts house are you? I am, believe it or not, actually a Gryffindor. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Agreed. Agreed. The real Tiffany. Um, I am a Gryffindor, and I was not surprised. I was kind of like wishing for it, really. So I feel like I kind of did some real Harry Potter magic. Yes, please, Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Yeah. Like, oh, I am Gryffindor. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's. I feel like I'm a Gryffindor in real life as well. You know? Like, yeah, it's like winning and. <laughs> Really and nice. being recognized for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> credit where credit's due. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're a Gryffindor because you just really like trophies and stuff. That was Mike from Potterless. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to reward you for your hard work. <laughs> Why turn it down? Right. <laughs> <laughs> See, now my experience with the sorting, when it first came out, this was like, I don't know, I want to say I was maybe like 20 when it came out, 19. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tried to get Gryffindor and was given Slytherin. And I'm like, oh, that's it why. knew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it knew, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> oh. Isn't that a little bit scary though? <laughs> you Slytherins. <laughs> All right, so which character are you most like in the series? Is it your own or another? It's a very good question. Um, I do feel like I'm very much so like Lee just energetically and um, like- Energetically. Yeah, just energetically, <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> um, yeah, like playing pranks and things like that, um, which is what myself, James and Oliver, uh, he played Fred and George did right, on, perfect. on set. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think I'd say Lee. The character that I like the most um, is Professor Umbridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just unpopular she's opinion. So <laughs> evil and annoying. She's she's just great to great to watch and like what is she really gonna do next? Um but I like to think that I'm not like her in the slightest. You can appreciate a good villain. Right. Right? But she's mm -hmm. like a pure villain. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She gets no I'm sorry. I probably should do this, you know, that's part of my job. <laughs> I, said, I said she is a pure villain. She gets no redemption, and I like that about her because she is unapologetically evil. Right. And if, like, if I were an actress and wanted to play a role, that would be like mm -hmm. the ultimate because mm -hmm. you could just really just, ooh, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, yeah, I love that. Great. Playing evil is a lot of fun. Sure. Yeah. I saw the new Downton Abbey movie, mm. and Imal Imalda Staunton is in it so weird to see her play a good person. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like something doesn't feel right. I know, I'm like, this isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. So if your character had been included in the 19 years later scene, what would you have liked to have seen from Lee? I would have liked to have seen my dreads down to here. Okay. Um, little gray, like a few wisps of gray running mm -hmm. through. Or even mm -hmm. like maybe I'd be a silver fox. Who knows? Hey. Um, but I would have liked to have seen him just still friends with, with Fred and George. And kind of like that, that, um, that friendship had remained. That crew? Yeah. Yeah. That would be important um, for me. Yeah. That's good. All right. Sarah, say what you want to say. Oh, yeah. I know, we know what you're thinking it. What? Just oh, that. Yeah, because Fred's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Sorry. God, you're right. Oh, I'm terrible. No, listen, I didn't want to. I wasn't going to say it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. You're, I, you you know, okay. I completely blocked that out of my mind. <laughs> That's okay. So I would devastating. too. I would too. <laughs> if my best friend died, I would block it out. Yeah. Oh. No, it <laughs> wasn't it. I would have a little. I would have a, you can have a little <laughs> stick, Fred. It's fine. That was that was off the record, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> None of this no, is keep it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so my question oh, is, that is so sad. <laughs> I know. I also bring up when a lot of people die. So I tend to be the one that we say pour one out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we'll pour one out for Fred yeah. and all the other people that have dead, Gosh. died. Um, if you take everything away from our podcast, we're basically just like a book club because um, mm. we're rereading re the books. Um, so I want to know, or is there anything that you're reading now or like a favorite book of yours? It doesn't have to be Harry Potter or anything. Um, I am reading a few different books at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, kind of like dipping in and out. But one um, that I'm particularly enjoying is called A New Earth. Okay. And it's by a guy called Eckhart Tolle. And it's just basically about, um, it's going to sound really boring, but I'm learning a lot, um, completely removing ego from your life, <laughs> like as much as possible. 
um, and a friend had recommended it to me. I can't, <laughs> I can't think why. Um, <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was just, it's just, it's a very, very interesting mm -hmm. read. And Oprah also, um, yes, she's behind the book as well. Mm. And it's, it's just fascinating learning. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm reading at the moment. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. She's person. great. Uh, okay. This is a fun one. What is the weirdest thing that's happened to you because of the Potter fandom? Um, the weirdest thing. Let me wreck my brain. Like, like Stan, uh, we got to talk to Stan a yeah. little bit ago, and he told us that he was let go through, he was detained in Chile. Um, they just, like, got him at customs or something, and then they, look, they like, looked on Google and realized who he was, and they let him go. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong. It was yeah. just, like, customs interrogating him yeah. for whatever reason, and they're like, oh, you're Victor Crumb. Enjoy our country. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, maybe I need to start like name dropping a little bit. I mean, it did work when the police pulled me over one time. I was like, oh, I've been in a few movies and he was, oh God, he was so cocky. He's like, oh really? What kind of, you know, what? Because he's asked what I did. Um, I was like, I'm an actor. Oh really? Have you been in any, any movies or anything? I was like, oh yeah, like a few. And he's like, um, anything that I would have seen? And I was like, um, so, you know, some Harry Potter movie, and he's like, "Oh, and like, yeah." It's just, you know, and then it was fine. I mean, yeah, it's okay. But um, thankfully, but it was yeah. Besides that, I'm just always so surprised and amazed at how um, involved the fans are and how much they know and how dedicated they are, and yeah. um, that when they they meet people who have been in the movies that it really is such a just a huge huge thing for them and it's so so lovely to see that the work that you know we've been a part of and that we've done has touched so many people in in so many different ways yeah. and mm -hmm. um yeah that's that's a really nice part of of this job it kind of makes it worthwhile actually when yeah to get that that feedback so do you think that Lee Jordan would have gone to work with Fred and George, or just George, after school, <laughs> or would you have wanted him to be like a Quidditch commentator for professional teams? Ooh, I feel like he would have done both. I like that, um, yeah. You know, like when the, when the Quidditch World Cup comes around, he'd be like the UK representative. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then in his spare time or like regular work life, I feel that he would have b continued to build the empire with just George. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that he really would have would have done both. I like that. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Okay, this is not Harry Potter related, but this Go is on. for my husband. Right on me. Okay, so my husband really loved Gallivant. Oh. So good. <laughs> so good. I also really loved Gallivant. So Thank if you. you could say hi to him, his name is Marty. Hi, Marty. This, <laughs> is, this is Sid, uh, I mean, Luke Youngblood. <laughs> <laughs> Saying hello to you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, by the way. <laughs> so I told him who we were interviewing, and he had no idea who Stan was because he doesn't, he's not yeah. into Potter. And then I told him about you, and he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> he goes, I know who that is. And he goes, tell him to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried so many people ask oh. me all the time. They're like, can it, can it just be a movie? Can it be a... Just and I, I would love for them to do that. I don't know if it will ever happen. Mm -hmm. um, there was talks about it potentially um, being turned into a Broadway musical of oh some sort, God. which I think would be really great. I don't yeah. think any of us would be um, asked back because we'd be like 50 by then. <laughs> but um, I think that would be a really, it would be a really great show. Um, mm -hmm. and all the songs are there. And I mean, Alan Menken and Glenn Slater already are just like geniuses. And Dan too is, uh, is, yeah, they should they should do that. I like, know. Let's, yeah. Let's that happen. So he told me to tell you that. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. It, it'll, gonna, be, it'll be it's going to happen. <laughs> 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 oh, he's going to love that. Um, I don't know. What was it like just being on set? You know, you did it for so long. Yeah, it was um it was really surprising. I spoke about this earlier a little bit at the panel. Um going into it, none of us realized how big it was going to be and how mm -hmm. influential um uh it was going to be on the world and it always yeah. blows my mind to think how many languages yeah. all of us have been dubbed in and um how many yeah. people have seen us on screen just 
in countries that we never even you know usually think about mm -hmm. and um also it being so english to think that it's had such a you know massive impact and um just the beauty of the uk being like shown in such a lovely way mm -hmm. and on a grand scale is is pretty amazing and also telling a story that is complete fantasy but it also um being something that so many people can relate to so many life lessons within mm -hmm. potter and i honestly like there was like a study done that somebody said like the best people are fans of harry potter because of so many lessons that it teaches you and i think the number one lesson that i love that it's coming across now is acceptance of people who are unlike yes. you yes and i love that so much i think that's Me such too. a huge deal it is an inclusivity and mm -hmm. um everybody even though some people might look the same everybody is so different anyway and everyone has their own story mm -hmm. and just being proud of that and kind of like living living your life as who you are yeah and that um yeah harry potter has been able to do that for so many people which is it's just so lovely really? and it's necessary too yeah. yeah yeah and it's like i teach first grade mm -hmm. um and it is like it has never died down. I know. That's what's so <laughs> this is like 20 years later. Yes. And you know, we're still talking about this. And the weird thing is, is that it doesn't, at least to me, it doesn't get boring. No. And um, it's nice to see new generations come in and see it for the first time and also be taken with the magic. And, and you just see the spark, that sparkle in their eye. And um, even adult people who have never read the books or seen the movies, when they watch it, they're like, oh, it's actually kind of good yeah. <laughs> what we're talking about yeah um it's yeah until they remake them if they ever do mm. um <laughs> you don't want it you don't oh, want that good. to happen <laughs> we'll be much older and it'll probably be in a completely different um vein like you'll probably be immersed into the story as harry or something <laughs> um but until that happens i feel that people are still going to receive them um with just such wonder. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool. Yeah, it is. It is. Do you have anything to add? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Because what are you doing now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are... What are you up to? Um, I'm working on a few different voiceover projects oh. um, at present. All of them are animated um, <laughs> series. Are they secret? Um, most of them are. I'll tell you about the ones that I can talk about. Okay. <laughs> um, one of them is a show called Do Ray and Me, which is going to be on Amazon. Okay. And it's a preschool it. show, maybe. I want to go on Amazon so I can see commercials. Mm -hmm. It's going to come out at the end of next year. Okay. Um, December 2020, because these things take a million years to animate. And um, it's a preschool show. We teach children about music because music education mm. is... It's just being taken out of taken out of so many schools. Yes, and it is. It's one of those things that I think you don't really think about that much, but music influences everybody's lives in mm -hmm. mostly a you know positive um, positive way. And to think that um, that's going to be removed is scary. So right. we're trying to um, do that through our show, and that's um, myself, um, Jackie Tone, who's one of the creators, and she's on a show called Glow, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, Kristen Bell, us three oh. are the leads oh, of that show. How fun. So that one's cool. I did a few episodes of a show called Loud House, which is on Nickelodeon. I was like, I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, um, a fun one. The others, I <laughs> cannot say. I will tell you that one is going to come out next month, the end of oh. next month on Netflix. On Netflix. And okay. another one's going to be Q1 or Q2 of 2020, and that's also going to be on Netflix. And I'm doing two video games. Um, one has just been announced, um, and we haven't yet. So I, it could be any number of games. That are, oh. um, but a lot of the things that I am currently working on are part of existing franchises. Ooh. So that is all I will say. That is exciting. That. We <laughs> won't pressure you. Coming out, so. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you so much for meeting with us. Thank you. We do have a request. Go on. So we sign off um, our podcast every episode by saying, don't let the muggles get you down. Could you say that for us? Mm -hmm. um, I just want to let everyone know out there, um, don't let the muggles get you down. Oh, it was so good. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> May we have a picture with Absolutely, you? Absolutely, yes. Awesome. <laughs> and then what else do we do? More shopping. That's actually when we did our shopping. That's when we yeah, did that, a lot of yeah, shopping. After we that, went back we around. ventured around. Pin um, shopped. Oh, my God. We bought so day. many pins. It was Here's just all thing. pins. I can't like, wait to shop again. Yeah, same. What did I buy yesterday? <laughs> I feel like I've spent $1,000 on food alone. I know. Yeah. And I haven't even eaten that much. I know. Yeah. Food's pricey. Food's pricey, and not it's good. not the con's fault. But it's like, I, I wish there... I don't know. The turkey, the turkey. It would have been really great if they could have like had vendors come in yeah. with food and like have themed give food. Me and, like, food do yeah. Give me some food Give me some local stinking eats. I don't want to yeah. eat chicken tenders from just right. like bring a frozen in, box. Yeah, bring in local Boston places that would be into. Like, you know, I'm thinking, like, Wizardly World of Kent, you know? like There's yeah. not even any Boston cream pies here. What am I supposed to do <laughs> about, about that? What about Boston baked beans? They pulled, Give me some baked beans. They pulled in a ton of people from Kent, and, like, they, they changed their menus to, like, make it fit the theme. And, like, that would have yeah. been super cool, but it yeah. is what it is. Would it have been super cool, or would it have been super cool? That one. Okay. Yeah. Um, But after we record this, Megan and Katie are going to go do something fun, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of shopping. So we yeah. walked back. And then not too long later, um, everybody else came back, and we ate, and we talked, and we podcasted, actually. We yeah. Pod- yeah, about Salem. Podcast, podcast about Salem. And then we got ready for the ball. A. Little a. mice made my outfit. I put a sweatshirt on, and it was great. Yeah, I, changed, <laughs> I changed my shirt into a tank top. I put on some deodorant and brushed my hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brushed my teeth. Because I figured it was going to be hot in there, like a high school mm-hmm. dance is yeah. hot, and you like melt, you know what I mean? It yeah. was pretty warm in there. Megan was regretting wearing a sweatshirt. I we were, was. Oh, immediately. But she looked so cute, and we matched. I know. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, but we had, a good, we had a good night. We, we walked in, and we immediately met um, Tubes from Potterless. Yeah, so we finally got and to he meet was him in person. Super nice, yeah. obviously. Very. He's a funny guy. Um, like, just in general, just his manner. He literally, and I'll tell this to his face, too. He reminds me of a cartoon character. He's he just has a energy. lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Very energetic. <laughs> I love it's it. Amazing. I wish awesome. I had a quarter of it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. We could all use it right now. Correct. We'll intersperse the quarter between all four of us. We'll each get a, s- what is it? A, a quarter. Six, a sixteenth. Yeah. But, An um, and then we immediately met some listeners. They were great. Um, yeah, we met a bunch of listeners. Um, I had some whiskey. Goodness gracious. Our night. It was <laughs> just, <laughs> it's, it's so, so, it's such an odd experience because <laughs> It's weird because we're, we're at a convention and you are there to have fun and let loose, but we're also here as presenters and right. want to network and all of that kind of stuff. So it's it's a fine line of wanting to stay professional and letting loose. And Megan had too much wine. <laughs> Did she? I didn't know you were going to just volunteer that. <laughs> but you were to, but you were to, be, horrible. to be fair, we, we all had. Well, I looked at Katie, Katie when we got home. Beverages. When we got home, when we got back to the to the Airbnb, I looked at her and I was like, I wasn't embarrassing, was I? And she's like, No, I wouldn't say you were embarrassing. You were just funny. And I'm like, Okay, I can handle that. You said that this morning. <laughs> oh, was that? Oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we're there. It's fun. They've got uh, cash cash bars for the twenty uh, ones and over friends, and um. Yeah, so just playing jams. We got to have, yeah. Would we call them jams? <sighs> okay, well, so we music all was agreed. a little bit disappointing. We all agreed. Correct artists, wrong songs by those artists. Yeah, we, I would agree with that. Like yeah. they picked good songs, but they weren't like dancing songs. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah Minus yeah, yeah. Well, like Journey. Like you gotta play that. I wouldn't dance. At play this that anyway, at the like. But the I'm end. not a dancer, you know. Right. But yeah. I didn't know this leaky con tradition. Apparently, they always end the night with total eclipse of the heart, yeah. and it's a big thing. It's awesome. Like yeah. later, later that night when we saw Chris Rankin again, he had like glitter in his hair from oh it. It was awesome. Yeah. And he was wearing a jumpsuit, which was just fabulous. Oh, he looked nice. so good. good. It was fantastic. Yeah, but, but I had no idea. Like it was really then? cool to come here and learn these traditions like that, and then like and these the ribbons, the ribbons that you get. Which we were late to the board, and we're going to totally do next year. But, like, I have my lanyard on, and it literally looks like this rainbow scarf hanging down. It's the best. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure that Chris Rankin is actually on stage right now yeah. judging the costume. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, he's with a newt. <laughs> yeah, there's a newt. newt. Oh, Amanda. is that the newt that won at Celebration of Harry Potter? It looks good. It Even looks the way really he's standing good. looks like me. I, I think know. that's him. He um, won the costume contest in Orlando. He looks good. 
Um, so what do we? We what just, just hung out and we just yeah. chatted. And then it's our friends night. from uh, Hogwarts Radio were there. Mm-hmm. Yes, we so hung we got out to with hang them. out with them for yeah. a long time, which was really, really great. Shout out to them! I Honestly. had great conversations with all of them. I Bailey, told Sarah that Gretchen's my spirit animal. Uh, Bailey, Gretchen, they're great. Luke, Terrence, Terrence, Terrence is hilarious. Yesterday, Terrence, oh my, oh my boy, you were having a good time. <laughs> Um, it was and poor Terrence too. So he was on our podcast. He has no voice. Oh my <laughs> oh, gosh! Yeah. I know and he, he lost, lost his, voice. his voice. We were talking yeah. about it. He like he would have probably said a lot more, but I'm like he just didn't have a voice he to like use it. To do it. Um. So we had a but we had a good time. It was yeah. all funny games and it was a lot. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was such a fun time though. Yeah, go ahead. We just got a message. So we had a group going about our panel from yesterday. Yeah. Um, pre leaky con about credence and everything. So Gretchen just says, you know what's hilarious? We still won't have any answers about credence at the next leaky. So nice meeting you all this week and hope your panel. <laughs> oh, oh, awesome. she, that's what I'm saying. She's the greatest. Because it still won't be out yeah. by that it's point. Yeah, be yeah. out by So we could, do a, we could do a whole other do one. Do another one. Because maybe by that time Love we could trailer. even do. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, we could talk oh, about I the trailer. I hope there will be a trailer. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do is speculate do yeah. trailer stuff yeah i'm excited we sh- we have to talk about like star wars and stuff and then the new show's coming out in yeah a month. mandalorian's coming less than a month <laughs> um Fun what times. happened after that they sang the song they they like confetti flew out everybody was like one more time one more time so they did the whole song again and then like other people that didn't get on stage the first time got on and um, once it was over, everybody like filed out. Blaze Zambini character, what's his real name? Lewis Cordice. He was here with his. Oh, I didn't see him. He friend. was hanging out with Luke Youngblood. <gasps> he was hanging out with Luke Youngblood that was and, him? You, yeah. and Luke yeah. Youngblood's yeah, that's um, him. agent friend, whoever he was, who yeah, was with him. It was the three of them. You didn't know that was him? No, but yeah, now he, I he, do. he yeah. and I, he and I made eye contact, oh. and I was like, and it was. I great. looked. No, I looked at him, and I was like, we made eye contact, and it Same. hung for a second in the air, and I was like. You look familiar to me, but I don't <laughs> think I know you. And I was like, oh, well, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't get to say he's anything to him. good looking bloke. Oh, yeah. He's very good looking. And then um, they came out. We said bye to Chris and, and Nessa and uh, headed back to their b and uh, yeah, We also no. got to meet Micah from Muggle Cast. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He said hi. Yeah. So he was nice. Chatted and, with um, him for a second. I think that that's really all that we, those are all the people we talked to yeah. that, that night. Yeah. I tried to say hi to Luke Youngblood and he was in his own world. Yeah. He, oh, I, I was like, hey, I peeped around Megan and was like, hey friend. And he was literally singing a song and I think he was dead to the world. <laughs> he was just in, a, in the zone. <laughs> and, his, yeah. and his friend looked at me and smiled and then uh, Blaze, I'm just going to call him Blaze because I don't know his name and I can't Lewis. remember. Lewis looked at me and smiled too. Cause like it were, it, they were like, yeah, he ignored you because this is what he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, no, it was great. It was great. Yeah. Um, it was a good time. It was yeah. cool to see them in a chill, not on a stage yeah. environment. So that was cool. That was the but cool part it was about cool, being in but VIP. Also, like weird in a in a sense of like, how am I here and talking to you? Like the whole yeah. day right. was like, how am I here? And, like, it's how just am kind I, of like, like a surreal to experience to yeah. be at Leaky Con, to be and honest, then, like, because you you're put into a situation where you're in a comfortable space such as a con yeah that has people that have all the same likes and loves that yeah. you do but you also are just like in that space with the actors yeah yeah and sometimes they're just hanging out and they're just chill it's mm-hmm. also crazy it, to think it like really how, makes you um, realize they're just humans yeah yeah, yeah like I, it, this is it's been great um to be able to network and you know we can only oh my gosh that's their costume sorry they're puppet pals oh yeah yes, oh oh I saw, oh, them, I saw them we yeah, have like a really it. cool the, the view cosplay of the main, main stage the cosplay contest is going on right now um, Ron and Harry are on stage from as Potter pu- puppet, as pals. The puppet pals. pals yeah yeah um it's it's just great to even <laughs> get like hear meet people and hear people and and see what everyone else is doing and be able to sit and like watch other live podcasts like we sat and we yeah. watched potter list yesterday with chris rankin up on stage and hilarious so, so funny good. Um, we totally forgot about that too when we were going through oh, thing, yeah. Didn't yeah. We? yeah we did yeah yeah totally we watched forgot. potter list live that's what we did <laughs> yeah. in between the interviews that is. it is that is what we did in between the it interviews is. Um, it was great it's just yeah like everything it's just been really cool to see it and you know um 
even brainstorm like if if hopefully they'll allow us to be on another panel next year because we but no matter what like we're going to be at leaky con so we're, yeah, we're going to be hopefully yeah. working yeah. it and, yeah. and doing a panel or two or 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 anything yeah. um maybe have a merch booth with yeah. a couple other podcasts yeah. We'll yeah, we'll so see. um i literally love leaky con yeah. it's amazing it's, it's great it's i told meg i was like this is what we've been missing with celebration of harry potter yeah, yeah. yes it's, but it's like even but it's, in con it's bigger. Form. It's like Celebration of Harry Potter is different because a lot of it was focused on the theme park, which is amazing yeah. and great. Yeah. But with this, it's like more about the community. Uh, yes. Yeah, so yeah. and, and I think that that is what most people thrive the most in when it comes to the Harry yeah. Potter fandom is the community that it's created and yeah. the community that... Um, that is around you. So like celebration was great because you got the community and the theme parks, but this is like more so community and it's, it, it just it's feels gonna, good. It's going to sound yeah. weird, but the here leaking con feels more immersive. It does, which yeah. is weird because yeah, you would think that like it's being funny. in universal would yeah, be yeah, immersive, right. but, this but it's almost too overwhelming. And this, yeah. this is like, you get that feel that immersive feel, but it's not as overwhelming yeah. as celebration yeah. was. You can't touch certain parts in celebration. Like whether I don't like, tan- I'm not saying tangibly, but like, but here it's like, I feel like I can experience everything. Well, yeah. and the panels yeah. here uh, touch on so many more topics than they would ever talk about yeah. at celebration of Harry yeah. Potter, yeah. because they would only allow panels from like celebrities or like big name people, which, is amazing to hear but it's also amazing to hear the little podcast from ohio or the yeah. little podcast from wherever it's from or and yeah. hear them talk about different topics, topics. Yeah. yeah like hearing them talk about people of color in the in the harry potter yeah. series and the lgbtq community in the in the harry potter series like you wouldn't get those types of panels at yeah. celebration and you get a ton of them here so it's it's refreshing and it's like it's nice another thing i really enjoy is obviously um i like harry potter and all this stuff but with the merch really <laughs> obviously oh my god i also <laughs> like no i like that they also have like some of the booths that are they're just so freaking creative but they also have like little interspersed of other nerd stuff oh yeah so it's like 95 percent harry potter with like a little bit of everything else mixed in which like i'm like oh my gosh like a little bit of star wars a little, little bit of doctor who doctor who yeah. they yeah. they have like hamlet the one booth had hamilton stuff dear evan hansen gilmore stuff. girls gilmore girls you know um so you get a little bit of you just get just just a touch of everything else and it, i just I, I appreciate that and i like it um yeah like it a lot. Oh, and there was a cool booth that we got really excited for. And you guys talked to them, right? The one that um, is, it's an Etsy shop, and they all they do is like um, oh. yes, the crossovers, crossover houses. So because I remember walking by, I'm like, what the heck is all this stuff? I'm like, all those. What this, is it called? All those are the wrong color. Did you get a picture? On so I'll it's like it it'll it. have they. She makes like a Griffin door, a Griffin puff crest. So it's like Griffin and she door sells and scarves. Cloth. She sells scarves. She sells ties, ties t-shirts. Yeah. With like you know all this stuff that's like, you know, a Slither puff, uh, yeah. Raven puff, all of that stuff. You know, it's super cool. Crest crossed. Oh, that's a good name. That's a great. Yeah. Name. And her Etsy shop is is just called crest crossed etsy.com slash shop slash crest crossed we bought a little well i don't know did we or did you guys i didn't i i bought oh, it because she was cash only but it was yeah. um yeah it's a combination of all four of the houses and it just says united and i thought it was perfect for yeah, us because we'll, that's we'll exactly what we are and put it on the wall and like her general message was just like so great it wasn't just like uniting the houses it was literally just like uniting as different people who buy She's like By society together. You feed off of each other and become yeah. a good right. person. And yeah. she said, society makes you fit enough boxes. You shouldn't have to fit a box for your Hogwarts house either. Yeah. Yay. And she was like, this was yeah, my Megan. way of breaking into that. I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? Just be a stinking Hufflepuff. It's my second house. I'm, uh, honestly, I'm super embracing my second house as Ravenclaw. I that, dig it. That shirt, those shirts need to come out and you can just use your designs for the houses, that, the animals mm-hmm. that you already did and just figure out a text for it's my second house and boom right there dig it you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome so that was all about our uh first day experiencing leaky con and we'll come back to you with another episode about our second day leaky con leaky con is it cool 
Yes, it is. Watch out. We'll see you next year. <laughs> <laughs> so that concludes this bonus episode. Thank you so much for listening, and don't let the muggles get you down. <gasps> Amazing! Just my voice! <laughs>